Hi guys, this is Kai from Carries.net, and today we're going to compare the browsers on Verizon Droid and Samsung Omnia 2. So we're using Opera Mobile 10 uh, for the Samsung Omnia 2, and for the comparison, we're going to take a look at the UI, the settings, um, the keyboard, and also the speed of loading. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the settings on Opera Mobile 10 on Samsung Omnia 2. So the set the setting is pretty basic and it's pretty simple as you can see here. Uh, it allows you to load images, um, turn on Opera Turbo, and you also have the advanced setting that um, gives you the option of um, choosing the action of what to do when pop-ups happen. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the settings on the browser on Verizon Droid. To get to the settings, um, we're going to press this button here and click on More, and go ahead and click on Settings. And basically, there is four different um, parts to the setting. You have the page content settings, uh, which allows you to um, change things like text size, text encoding, and you also have the privacy settings, and then the security settings, and finally the advanced settings. So, on first look, the Verizon Droid has more set. The browser on Verizon Droid has more settings. Okay, so next we're going to take a look at the UI of both of the browsers. On the Opera Mobile, Opera Mobile 10, you have the tab-like first page that allows you to load um, nine different quick start speed dial pages. And you can also switch between different pages. And you have the option of going back, backward and forward and also reloading. And for the browser on Verizon Droid, you will have to press this button to pull up any options. You can add bookmarks, open new windows, or press more to go to more options. So next we're going to take a look at the keyboard on both of um, the Droid and also the Samsung Omnia 2. So to enter anything on the Samsung Omnia 2, you will need to use the virtual keyboard. For, Sam, uh, for Verizon Droid, you have the option of using the virtual keyboard or using the hardware keyboard that's available when you slide it out. So finally, we're going to take a look at the speed of loading on both of the browsers. And we're going to use Carrier as the benchmarking site. So we're going to enter the address here. I'm going to do the same on the Droid. Okay, and we're going to press go at the same time. And here we go. So the Verizon Droid browser has already finished loading the page. Or Opera Mobile 10 is still trying to get to that page. So Opera Mobile 10 is almost loading up the page. Now the carry sign has loaded. We can see that the page is fully loaded on both of the browsers. And over moment 10 is probably about 20 to 30 seconds slower um, when it comes to the loading speed on the browser. So this is a brief comparison of the browsers on Verizon Droid and Samsung Omnia 2.